South African has abnormally high murder rate, one of the highest in the world for a country that is not at war. The rapid increase on illegal guns in our society makes the commission of these crimes difficult to control. It is estimated that there are over 60,000 firearms that are unaccounted for in South Africa. These firearms are the cause of so much pain in society, and we need to put an end to this. Taking into account our poor policing record, one of the most effective ways of dealing with gun violence is the remove of these floating guns from society. The Firearm Amnesty Declaration provides such an opportunity to surrender of illegal firearms. But we know for a fact that thousands of guns that have been surrounded, surrendered to the police before found, found, before found they way back to the streets again through this conduct of criminal elements within the police force. Just recently, a police colonel, Chris Prince Lua, was sentenced for having sold back to criminals about 2,400 guns that were surrendered to the police. Many police officials are in the pockets of criminals and without watertight mechanisms to ensure that the surrendering of guns are destroyed with risk handling, handing them over to criminals via the police. We support the declaration of the amnesty period from August 2020 to uh, 31 January 2021. And we encourage all South Africans, Chair, even those who hold firearms legally but cannot keep them safely to surrender these firearms back to the state, Chair. And just in closing, Chair, I want to tell Natasha Mazzoni Mr. Grunewald and the self-proclaimed Godsman that thinks he knows the Bible more than anyone else in the country, that we are not scared of them, one, but the EFF have turned seven years old and we will not sit with people that are drinking wines during a house sitting. We will never reduce this parliament to such behavior, to sit with a bunch of drunkards that drink wine during a house sitting. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable yes. I, I 